for us and they had a luncheon for you and I sort of stumbled over to your facility and you have two facilities and I went to the wrong facility and that's how I got to meet Amy and I saw your uh, what you had going on over there really a nice place and I wanted you to share a little bit with us what you do at the orthopedic center I mean it was tremendous that place absolutely so a little bit about myself um, I'm a South Florida native I was born in Fort Lauderdale lived most of my life in South Florida and uh, went to college at Vanderbilt University in Tennessee medical school at University of Miami and then I went to New York City for my orthopedic training I did my residency at the NYU Hospital for Joint Diseases and I stayed on for my fellowship at the NYU for uh, Hospital for Joint Diseases I did a fellowship in hand and upper extremity surgery so I specialize in doing hand to shoulder surgery and um, my group to tell you a little bit more about my group um, we have uh, about 11 doctors now and uh, we cover pretty much the whole body in terms of uh, the orthopedic world uh, we have a spine doctor we have a pain management doctor a uh, rehab doctor a couple of foot and ankle doctors and a sports medicine surgeon Dr. Matarazzo and uh, another hand specialist Dr. Marvin Cohn and uh, Dr. Jeffrey Rosenfield as well so we have a pretty good group and um, you know. some doctors. Absolutely. The uh, the facility that I went to, um, how long has it been open? And you're also related to St. Mary's? No, you're uh, JFK? Yeah, so, JFK, right? so um, our main office is in Lake Worth, and we're adjacent to JFK Hospital. And our other office in Boynton Beach um, is close to two of the other hospitals. I go to the two Bethesda hospitals, Bethesda East and West, both in Boynton. I see. And, and, the, uh, and the other facility that you have, the second one, is located where again? You uh, have two, right? You have one, one in West Palm and the other one is no, further south? No, Lake Worth, oh, Lake Worth is our main office and the other one is Boynton Beach. That's, right. That's where we had the luncheon, correct? In Lake Worth? Yeah, right. I'm getting my bearings. <laughs> getting my bearings. Um, some of the, uh, the uh, unique stuff that separates you from other centers, because, you know, I, I, I mean, it's a business now. Doctors are competing off for patients and, and giving them services. Um, some of the new things, some of the technologies that you're using in your field, new stuff, can you elaborate a little bit with us and let us know some of the things that are going on uh, with the center that makes it uh, that much appealing? Because when I went there, you guys had standing room only. I mean, it was unbelievable the amount of people that were in there. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, as far as the type of work I do from the hand to the shoulder, some of the kind of cutting edge things that we do, we do, uh, we do offer endoscopic carpal tunnel surgery, which is a little more minimally invasive type of surgery that tends to get patients back to um, their daily activities a little bit faster. Um, we do joint replacements of the hand, the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder. Um, Shoulder replacements have really come a long ways in the past decade, um, and uh, there's been a, a lot of increase in the technology and improvement in the implants that uh, patients actually do pretty well after these shoulder replacements these days, so it's definitely an up-and-coming thing. Um, arthroscopic surgery of the shoulder, the wrist, um, there's lots of new techniques that have been coming out the past 10, 12 years or so as well. Yeah, I saw also in the, uh, the sports world a lot of athletes that are coming back so quickly. Um, you know, they, they go in and they, they, they get scoped, they, something gets looked at, and especially in the football and basketball fields, and the next thing you know, they're back on the field, which is an amazing thing, something that took six months to heal. I mean, how is it that it's done now that you can get back on your feet so quickly? So, it's absolutely true. I mean, arthro arthroscopic surgery in general is a more minimally invasive type of surgery that causes less trauma to the soft tissues and patients often can get back a lot faster than with uh, older techniques where you had to have a bigger incision bigger dissection etc and you know part of this with the athletes is that they have an incentive to get back faster you know they're making the millions the of money, dollars a year the money, yeah. they don't want the, the younger guy sitting on the bench behind them to take their spot too my so. brother had on his knees and he was back in a week you, know, you don't want to lose your spot, so well, you get healthy real quick. He's not an athlete, but he was walking around and back to normal within a week. And my mother-in-law, she had her uh, shoulder done, 
But she's, a, she's an older lady, so she had a lot of physical therapy to get back. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, so I guess the techniques, and I, if you're in better shape, I guess you get your bounce back quicker. That's but true. I, just, I just noticed that, um, I don't know, maybe it's my imagination, but people that are having operations done on their legs and knees and ankles and things, they're coming back faster, going back to work because you don't want to lose your job. You know, when insurance being what it is. Um, but it seems like people are healing quicker. Now, this is part of the technique. Is it part of people being in better shape? Is it a combination? I think I think all of these things that you touched on play a role for sure. Um, you know, with more time, we're, we're getting better at um, learning new techniques that cause less trauma and uh, are stronger in terms of uh, fi fixating the, the ligaments and the tendons that um, people are, you know, able to get back to things a little faster. But uh, everybody works out these days. People are more health conscious. Uh, there's a lot of factors going on, but certainly, um, you know, a lot of the new surgical techniques have, have aided in this as well. I, I usually ask to, to ask doctors when they come on the show for the first time, um, because we, we talk a lot about innovative stuff that's coming along, and and uh, people have their own idea of what they like to see. If you had an opportunity to change the game, the industry, and, and Whatever you say goes, what would you like to see? What would you like to be either elaborated on or enhanced on so that, uh, that certain procedures that you do, certain things that you do should be um, copied throughout the industry? The, the one thing that you can touch on and say, I wish we did this more, or I wish I saw that more, I wish I could change this. What would it be? The one thing that you te definitely would love to see more of. Well, uh you know, one, that's a very good question, but one thing that comes to mind would be, you know, if we could find a cure for arthritis or, you know, a permanent cure aside from just replacing joints with artificial parts, because they, they can wear out with time. They do last a lot longer than they used to, but it would really change the way uh, we do things if somehow we had a, a cure for arthritis or a, a treatment, a biological cure. What is arthritis? What is the medical Good definition point. of arthritis? Because I always hear osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. What, what is it and what is the difference between the two? Good question. So there are several different forms of arthritis. By far the most common is osteoarthritis. And you can think of it as a, a wear and tear of the joint surfaces. So all the joints of the body are covered with cartilage very smooth slippery uh, surface without much friction and with wear and tear over time um, the cartilage can get damaged and you know as it progresses you lose that uh, nice smooth painless motion between the two bones and it can become very painful and why does the, why does the joint swell let's say with osteoarthritis the joints swell because of a few reasons so um, there's a joint capsule that produces synovial fluid, we call it, basically a lubricating fluid. And when you have arthritis, um, the tissue that makes this fluid, it gets inflamed and produces excessive fluid. So that's why you get excessive fluid buildup. And then, you know, when you get bone spurs from the arthritis setting in, that also gives the joint an enlarged appearance. Those are two of the main factors for the appearance of the joint being enlarged. And it usually comes because it's worn down. When I go to my yoga class, they always say, you know, we're, we're lubricating our joints. Does that, do they really mean that we're lubricating our joints and preventing arthritis? Uh, that, I couldn't tell you if that's scientifically, you know, sound uh, knowledge or not, but um, definitely, you know, keeping active, um, keeping the joints healthy, moving uh, as much as possible, doing a lot of exercise, keeping the muscles around the joints as strong as possible. All these factors um, improve you know, our general health and probably support our joint health too. And, and what is rheumatoid arthritis? Because is that an autoimmune disease? It is an autoimmune disease. It's a genetic problem where the, the lining of the joint that we were talking about becomes very inflamed and produces chemicals that actually degrade the cartilage a lot faster than it normally should. And uh, there's a lot of great medications that have really changed the face of how we treat rheumatoid arthritis that we actually don't do operations on patients with rheumatoid arthritis nearly as often 
as people used to a couple decades ago. It's interesting. I had a friend. She thought she's a doctor, and she thought she had rheumatoid arthritis, and she found out it was lupus. Is that something that you see a lot? That that misdiagnosis? Sure, absolutely. Both of these fall into the category of an inflammatory uh, type of arthritis. So there's there's osteoarthritis, which is a very common wear and tear type that we get as we age, and then there's more inflammatory ones, which have more genetic influence. And uh, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, these sorts of things all fall into that inflammatory arthritis type of category. Excellent. And Dr. Cohen, if people wanted to reach out uh, and visit your office to, to get looked at or, or have a consultation, what number could they reach you at? So our main number is 561 area code 967-6500. We have a website that has all of our profiles of all the doctors you can get to know. Uh, it's www.ocpbc.com. Um, like I said, we have an office in Lake Worth and Boynton Beach, and uh, we have doctors that cover the whole realm of expertise in orthopedics. Yeah, nice place. Been there. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the air and sharing uh, some information. I want to thank uh, uh, Linda for, for having uh, her company invite you down. Um, and we'd like to invite you back. What I wanted to do was ask Amy if we can go up there and take some pictures and things of your facility because I know you have a lot of doctors up there and everybody wants to jump in here. And I'd like to roll some film or, or pictures, not with people, just of the uh, facility itself just to show them really how comfortable it is because I think that's really important to, to, to go and see a doctor. You know, and also I think people have the misconception that only the good doctors are in New York and places like that. We need to say that Florida has some good doctors and good facilities. I agree. I agree. And that's, uh, that's an important message uh, to send out there. But I want to thank you for coming down. I appreciate you uh, coming. And uh, thank Amy, thank Linda for, uh, for having you. I know it was not easy getting you here because you're very busy, but I appreciate you coming here. Thanks for having me. This was great and happy to come back anytime. No problem. All right, let's take a break.